I mean, yeah, for, it wasn't for me. I just know. Yeah, you know, my question was: kids. Was college like drilled from my God? I was five or six. College was drilled in my head at home. So I guess my question is: Was college something that was brought to your attention as a possibility, more so at home or more so at school, or both? And what do you guys think would have been the reaction had school? presented other pathways other than a four-year university to you how do you think that would have been how do you think that would have been perceived or embraced at home if we would have said you know Shayla you don't have to go to a four-year college you can do this what do you, I mean what do you what do you guys think about that I think it's all about the mindset though too I mean like I think people are influenced at home just because certain parents are certain ways I know from like me it's also like how you grow up so say if you come from a family that like maybe doesn't have enough money, you know, your parents didn't go to college, you want to exceed those expectations for yourself, I also think that has an influence. But I also think it's how the teachers push you. You obviously like, I mean, I even saw teachers make connections with kids and they push them to the best ability. Like, I know you can do this, but I want you to do this. And I want you to go above and beyond with this. But I also think that now, as the, like, the years go on, college is a lot different than what it used to be. Like I'm starting to see kids taking other paths, doing other things, and I see that because a lot of kids maybe can't like go to a four university, maybe they can't afford it. I see some kids go to a community college for a couple of years, then transfer it. It's cheaper. You get more money, but you still get the same education. And I also think a lot of kids maybe can't handle four years or something, or they want to take a different route. And I think. I know when I was a, a senior, Dr. Gaines was really pushing for, um, I don't know if it's in now, but it was something where you could go to like a community college and actually take classes. So I also think for a lot of kids though, sitting in a high school class for so many hours is like not their environment. Like they, Some people can't do that. They have to be like moving, just like as we see with like tech. They're constantly in a different atmosphere and that works for some people. So I think having different opportunities for different types of kids because all kids are different, no matter what route they take, they're still going to be successful whenever they do. So I think if that's really, really pushed, we're going to be able to hit like a lot more kids because everybody's really different. I guess that's my question that I keep on going back to. I haven't heard a whole lot about academics. I've heard more about the relationships you guys have created with teachers. And I just think of, you know, I just graduated seniors and there's kids that are very highly connected like Andy and then there's kids that never have that connection to any school any teacher that they have experienced throughout their 12 years of education um, how do we bridge that gap and how do we engage those kids into thinking for the future so I, I kind of feel like my take anyway is that I couldn't escape from that you go to high school and then you kind of go to college. Not because my parents drilled me about it, not because my teachers constantly drilled me about it, just because that's what, as a society nowadays, it seemed like everyone said, oh, so you're a senior, are you going to college next year? So where are you going? That was the question everybody asked. And it was almost expected that I would go to college, not because I seemed to be like a super smart kid or I seemed to, it had no relation to what I had done in life. That's just the next step in progression is that people go to college now. And the only reason I chose a four-year university is once well, I decided, well, everybody else is going to college, and that's what most people seem to expect. I'll go to a college, and I chose a four-year university because for me, looking at my options, it wound up to be cheaper and maybe more, uh, I could get a degree in less time than trying to do a two-year and then another two-year pro, or just, it's just a, a simpler process, a more straightforward goal, I guess I should say. And so, to me, it wasn't so much everyone saying, hey, this is the end goal, this is what you have to do. It was just, that's kind of what's expected. And then as I went to high school, obviously, teachers and other people were telling me, hey, where do you want to go to college? Counselors all helped me try and figure this stuff out. But even before that point, it was just always something that I felt was expected of me and my peers. It's just that you would go to college, or get through high school and then go to college. So you said counselors were helpful. What did that help look like? Um, so it was a little, different because my senior class we were the first ones to use um, what was the program score yeah so we were just testing out score and we did a semester where we like kind of tried it and then we started transitioning over to it while we were choosing college but doing the trial program that was actually really helpful and then just finding some websites and places that were recommended by my counselors such as niche and things and doing some research on there that was really helpful 
and then just kind of overall, just talking to someone who's been around people that have, or have seen kids transition from high school to college was just helpful because obviously I had never done that before. 